James Miguel is like this is like a gift from the boxing gods in my opinion like this is like a Lucas Matisse, Ruslan Provotnikov I know people are not into the fight like that you know I know a lot of people are not talking about it but um, to me okay I think this is a great fight for the diehard boxing fans All right. Um, in my opinion I think the top three super middleweights are Andre Ward Andre Durrell and James Miguel. All right, I think three these three fighters can beat Carl Froch. I think Durrell beat Carl Froch. Okay, um, I think uh, Froch got a, a gift because he was in his hometown. But I think Durrell won that fight. Uh, I think James Miguel can beat Carl Froch, and that's part of the reason why Froch didn't want to fight him. Um, and I think DeGale would beat George Groves if they had a rematch. All right, DeGale has been fighting on a very very high level lately. And I do believe that this fight here is a 50-50 fight, okay? Um, DeGale's always the underdog. He seems to be always, for the most part, up the underdog coming into fights. And um, it's not going to be any different difference here because this fight is going to be out here in the U.S., I believe, in Massachusetts. Um, but this is a big fight. And, you know, it, it's really hard to call. You know, I, I really believe that you just got to go pick who the guy you like better in this one. You know, just pick the guy because there are different, you know, let's talk Darrell. Darrell has been fighting different lately. He's been more aggressive. Um, he's been fighting more in the pocket. You know, before uh, he was with 50 Cent and before when he got injured, he was more of a mover, a pop shotter. Um you know, more defensive fighter, you know, he's, he's always been a technical fighter, but he was more defensive, more of a mover, more of a pop shotter, where now is, he's more of a, a fighter, um, he could fight both stances for a whole fight, okay, he could fight the southpaw position, he could be orthodox, and he could fight either way for an entire fight, and doesn't look any better in either, in either position to me, in my opinion, okay? But now he's been sitting in the pocket. He's been very aggressive. We've seen he has a four top-level competition. You know, his last fight was against Derek, Era, Derek Edwards, a guy that's been around, a guy that knocked out Badu Jack. Um, you know, it, it was a solid win for him. Um, Edwards have been in the ring with some good fighters. Um, Darrell destroyed him. Okay, and Darrell beat him in the pocket. Same guy that knocked out Badu Jack. He stood in the pocket with him the entire entire time and destroyed him. I mean, even if you go and look at the sparring match between Darrell and Jay Leon Love, what he did to him, you know, was just sitting in the pocket with him. He's become a much more aggressive fighter. Okay, but he still can fight the other way if he has to. Okay, um... I just think that Darrell has become more of a well-rounded fighter. He looks stronger to me, okay? He looks a lot stronger. Um, he's still very athletic, one of the most athletic fighters out there. Then you got James Aguil, who, I mean, both of these guys are Olympic medalists. James Aguil is a gold medalist. Darrell is a silver or bronze medalist, I believe. I think he was a bronze medalist. Um, both of these guys, you know, Aguil has been fight on a very high high level he's he stopped brandon gonzalez who i think is a very good fighter um he stopped marco antonio paraban another guy that gave badu jack a, a good fight um i was very surprised that he stopped paraban you know i mean i thought the stoppage i didn't think they needed to stop him to stop the fight but the was was pretty much dominated him it had paraban on his back foot for the most part I mean, DeGale is more of a fighter than Darrell is. I mean, if you want to compare recent, I don't know, recent, but I do believe DeGale has more power. He's not as fast as uh, Darrell, but he moves well as he moves very well as well. Um, he can fight on the back foot. He could, you know, he likes to fight coming forward, but and I believe that for the majority of this fight, he will be coming forward. He could fight on the inside. 
Um, he's very well rounded. I even seen him switch his stances as as well a little bit. You know, he's a southpaw, but I seen him fight a little bit on you know orthodox or whatever, a little bit, but not as effective as a switch hitter as a uh, Andre Durrell. Um, now as far as the way you you see the fight going, I think I honestly think that uh, the the Gale of right now, the James the Gale of right now. Is probably a tougher fight for on that uh, the toughest fight, possibly the toughest fight that we've ever seen for Anthony Durrell. I know the Gale don't have the resume to compare to a Frotch or um, uh, who who are these other guys he fought Durrell fought in the Super Six. I can't think of the names right now, but um, uh, right now what I see from the Gale, this might really be a difficult fight for Andre Durrell. Um, and he has so much power, okay? He has a lot of power. Um, now, what I think is going to happen is they're going to get try to get comfortable with each other, okay? Uh, the first round is going to be a, a slower round, okay? I don't think either one of them is going to come out blazing. I think each one of them want to see what the other fighter has. Uh, I think Darrell, even though he's been fighting more aggressive, I think he's going to take a different approach in this fight. I think he's going to want to get a sense of his power, James Seguel's power. Okay, um, Seguel is the bigger puncher between the two of them, in my opinion, still. Okay, uh, even though Darrell looks stronger, um, I still think Seguel is the bigger puncher between the two. Okay, I think he has more power in that big left hand than Darrell does. Um... I think if Darrell is comfortable with his power and is able to slip his punches, I think he's going to be in the pocket more like he has been recently. But I don't really know because the Gale fights very well on the inside too. So I don't know if he really wants to be there. I mean, Darrell is a good defensive fighter, but I've noticed that he's still developing as an inside fighter um, as opposed to James Gale, who um, has been good on the inside his whole career. Uh, and I seen that notice certain things about Darrell, even though he um, has been dominant on the inside in his recent fights, he still has he's he leaves himself a lot more open when he's on the inside than he is when he's outside. Okay, on, on the outside, I think Darrell is gets the slight advantage over James Miguel. You know, I think Darrell, um, if he wants to resort to just pop shotting. Uh, I think he will be able to be or win rounds against James Gale. Okay, but James Gale is very good at on his front foot, and in, um, if it, if it, you know these guys, they're so talented, they can make adjustments in the fight. Both of these guys, um, I just still think that Andre Durrell is just a little bit more well rounded. Okay, and experienced, and experienced, uh, which is why I think he's gonna win this fight. Uh, I think Darrell is gonna win by decision. Okay, um, I don't think it's gonna be a wide decision, but I think he's just more well-rounded. And when it comes to making adjustments, he can make any kind of adjustments that is necessary. You know, if he has to go back to being orthodox, or if he has to hot shot and not really sit in the pocket with the Darrell, um, no, Degel, I'm sorry, then he'll do it. But I just think Darrell is all around more well-rounded. But I think it's a 50-50 fight. I think it's a, I really think this is a toss-up. Um, and I think Degel might hurt Darrell at some point in this fight. You know, if he lands a good shot, he might actually hurt Darrell and might actually drop Darrell. I wouldn't be surprised. So, you know, I think the pacing might be a back and forth pacing. That's the way I envision it. I, don't, I just don't think it's going to be a dominant performance by neither. Okay, whoever wins. Uh, it's a very tough fight. So um, let me know what you guys think. I got Darrell winning by a decision. I think it's going to be a tough fight. I think this is a very good. I can't wait for this fight. I love this fight. Um, but uh, I'm picking Darrell by decision. All right, so let me know what you guys think and make sure you subscribe.